start line. Doing a little walk out here to see what it's going to be. Come on, Tommy. Come in tight. Come in tight. I prepared a speech. All right, listen up. I want to help you, all of you guys, whether you're running the 50 mile, the 100 mile, or whatever distance you decide to make up during the day. Okay? Uh, I want to make sure you guys don't get lost. I want to make sure everybody's safe, has a good time. Um, you know, it's a weird place to, uh, like last year we were able to run through the state force at night. Uh, for whatever reason, we're not allowed to do that today, which is why we're starting at like seven o'clock over here. This actually makes a way better route than we had last year. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, all right, now that everybody's kind of coming here. Um, I will repeat this multiple times during the speech. The only <laughs> thing that you should be following today and tomorrow, however long you're out there, are these pink flags that say US FS do not remove. If you see any other flagging, solid pink, orange, whatever, that is not mine, okay? The first couple miles here has been rerouted because Hurricane Ian wreaked a lot of havoc on this area, a lot of standing water washed out one bridge and then another. So there's like a reroute on top of a reroute. <laughs> Um, so just anytime you see these flags, it says, come this way. <laughs> all right, please call, we're all good. So anyways, you guys are following us up. I also have signs out there randomly. There are a couple sections, whether you're doing the 50 or 100, where there might be two-way traffic. Read the signs and follow them the direction you're going, right? If I come up to a junction like this, I read it going this way. I don't go run through the junction, turn around and go, it says do this, okay? Um, also, sometimes I have this strewn out on the ground. That's kind of like a barrier. It's saying, do not go past that. It's not a hurdle. You're not breaking tape, right? So if you do not see a flag for or a blaze, I hope you guys have all watched the video on how to navigate these trails. They have blazes. They're like uh, vertical rectangles. It might be orange, which is the Florida trail. It might be blue, it might be yellow, it could be red, whatever that is, that's telling you where to go. So if you don't see flags, that's not a bad thing. Look for the blazes, okay? Anytime you see two blazes, if it's stacked right on top of itself, it means a change of direction, okay? So keep your head up. If the top is out to the right, make sure you go, there's a right turn. If the top is out to the left, there's a left turn. Easy enough, okay? There's cars out there. We've got a couple uh, road crossings. You'll be on the road earlier on. Do not get mowed down. Stay on the left side of the road, watch out. There's might be horses out there. We always give way to horses, okay? Uh, it might be mountain bikes, whatever. If you don't see flags for like 10 minutes, consider turning around. This GPX I've given everybody is 90% accurate. Okay? Right? The deal is this. If you're on the Orange Blaze Trail, the GPX says go left. There's no flagging there. Stay on the Orange Trail. Okay? It is really just, you don't need to be sitting there navigating from that. You need to be following the flags and the blazes. And then if you feel lost, then you pull it out. Make sense? Cool. Uh, cutoff times are hard cutoffs, guys. We're obviously going to add whatever time late we start. To the cutoff times so if the time was 8 a.m cutoff it'll be whatever 12 15 minutes whatever we start late fair enough fair enough everybody running the 100 mile if you get back to the 50 mile finish line and you're like fuck it i don't want to keep going you get a 50 mile finish right there's no pressure there's no reason to hurt yourself unless you want to right there'll be sections out there that have mud there'll be sections out there that are very technical, go slow, all right? There's sections that are like, you can run five minute miles on. Don't do that. Uh, let's see. Make sure when you're coming into aid stations, you have your bib number showing. It's how we like keep track of you. Um, I'm gonna give you guys my Google voice number here. Don't call me like Monday, I don't care. Um, but if something 
messed up happens, I would like you to have that. So if you guys in the hundreds specifically want to write that down, I don't have a lot of service out here, but I'm going to give you that number. I want you guys to have that. If you're like, hey, this is Dave. I have no idea who Dave is. I just care that Dave's safe. Okay? It's 706. All right, let's see what else. Why Stop Google. calling me, Charles. That's why, it's a, that's why it's a Google Voice number. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, out there, you guys might see the following. Rabbits, deer, birds, pigs, snakes, gators, bears, and the elusive Florida panther. Don't go swimming and don't go pet them. Easy enough. <laughs> all right, I was going to say some other shit. You guys are amazing. I appreciate y'all for being a part of this. Let's get this party started. We're all going to go ahead and walk into this field right here, and then you're going to follow my bike when we start. Walkway, boardwalk, it's going to be like ice skating. You will get really hurt if you try to run across them. Highly recommend walking. There's one like right up here, literally within one minute of starting. Hard left, don't get hurt. All right, everybody good? Yeah. Let's do it. Let me just start my, my clock here. <laughs> this wasn't in the runner's handbook. <laughs> it's a walking start. <laughs> All day long, Ron. <laughs> All right, we're about one mile in. Forgotten Florida, 50 miles. It is a brisk morning, but it should warm up quickly. Starting my run walk strategy. This course is very runnable. So plan is four minutes run, one minute walk. Just trying to stay on top of things. Got electrolytes in the bag, playing drinks up front, and uh, yeah, a lot of these people are going to be walking towards the end, so hopefully I can uh, reel some people back in. Alright, we're definitely going to be losing people with these walk breaks, but hopefully again, we'll reel them in. Stick to the race plan. All right, all right. Oh, Florida. Florida Trail. Forgotten Florida. I'm not quite on the Florida Trail. This is a white blaze. <laughs> Whew. All right, here's a bit of the early trail. I don't know. All right, bridge time. All right, so we've turned on the Flagler Trail. Great running out here. Sometimes you'll see horses out here. So we're gonna run over to the Econ here in a minute. I'm gonna take a sharp left turn. Uh, out here getting it. Forgotten four to 50. All right, here's what's left of the Econ River. Woo. So 
so amazing to see where it was. So much higher. These stanchions right here are part of the old Flagler Railroad. Came through here. It's the basis of this trail. <clears throat> Hope Justin's doing good. I uh, gave him an old watch, loaded up the course, and set him off with a plan that'll keep him ahead of the cutoffs. It's his first ultra, first major trail race. Uh, so hopefully he does well. I'm gonna try and wait for the finish line. We'll see if he's uh, if he's chasing the tail end cutoff. Might be too late because I do have to get out here again in the morning to volunteer. So. <clears throat> Some of the best parts of the state forest here. This gorge is running. Whew. A little bit of a bottleneck up there, so no need to rush. Thank you so much. You clear? Alright, five mile update. The sun's at an annoying angle. Sorry, I lifted my sunglasses up. Literally, it's making it worse. <laughs> so, I deal with the sun in my eyes. Next walk break, we're gonna take in some fuel. Just did our first road crossing. So, Five miles in, 45 to go. All right, we made it to some road. This is about a two mile stretch of road. Gorgeous country. I'm gonna open it up, try to make up some time, and uh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, road section. Done. Back onto fields, and we're headed towards the first aid station. So, feeling pretty good. Definitely helpful with this cooler weather. I'm right where I expect to be. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we're just gonna keep trying to stay on top of everything fuel, hydration, block breaks. The key to success. All right, we got a sign. Don't go that way, go that way. I believe on the opposite side, it says the wrong way. Cause you actually shouldn't be coming back that far. Aid station one. What's up? So far, so good? Oh, yeah. There you go. Get him. Looking gorgeous. We have a lot of great stuff if you need anything, but you're going to see us again. You're going to do a four mile loop and come back. And then cut that way. But we'll help you with anything right now. And honestly, the food's killer because it's fresh. Like, uh, she made those at home and they're amazing. Those are vegan blueberries. Cold pepper loop. This is off trail fun. Whew. 
This loop is barely trail. All right. Pace Pro is a little confusing. I think it's I think something already returning to aid station one slash two. But uh, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, starting to get steamy. Ooh, 16 miles in. Exposed bit. Hot. Keeping the walk run up. Staying on pace. Let's keep pushing. Nineteen miles in. We gotta be coming close to like a either a surgery or something. My pace pro dropped to ten minutes, but I'm still in the woods. And usually the faster segments are like straightaways. Um, ooh, it's getting tough. We're gonna see what we're made of today. Maybe it is too close to my 100 two months ago, but the only way out is through. So we gotta get there. It's like a little puzzle. One miles. I feel like a professional ultra runner. Had a videographer <laughs> for like a quarter mile. Hopefully, we're gonna eat soon. I think we do. Uh, the bottles are empty. Uh, so, hopefully, it's coming up. So, we spend like seven, eight miles. So, should be soon. All right, first crossing. Halfway done. I'm gonna be shifting into a uh, steady goal instead of a pace goal. Ooh, yeah. There's definitely a lot of miles on my legs, uh, but we're gonna keep going as far as I think we can without blowing up entirely. All right, 25 more. Woo! So I got like nine more of those. Oh man, can you guys add like 15 more of those? Oh yeah. Love it, love it, love it. All right, back to the A station. To Joshua Creek. All right, I uh, went ahead and just took some extra time at the A station. So it and me just take a minute to recalibrate and see what we can kind of make out of this. 
on paper I'm running pretty strong, but hip flexors and quads and hamstrings, they're all screaming. But it's gonna hurt whether I do this or whether I quit, so I might as well keep going. Uh, just try to lock in a slightly easier piece. Let's see. All right, we gotta be getting close to Joshua Tree. You know, a mile or so. Just trying to uh, change my perspective, right? Like, what can I control? I can be happy that I'm out here. I can be happy that I'm still pushing. I can be happy that I'm doing something I love. Yeah, my legs might not carry me to where I want it to today, but who cares, right? Uh, these things are hard, and especially when you do a lot of them, they're really hard. Uh, so it's no surprise when uh, you know the race doesn't quite go your way. But we're out here, we're having a good time. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna finish this race with a smile on our face. One of uh, Run Bum's like new phrases is bend, don't break. I just love that, right? Because You'll see a lot in Florida trees, right? The ones that weather the storms, they bend and bend. Sometimes so much so that they'll stay bent, but they're still standing. The ones that don't bend, break. And so we're gonna try to be like those trees today. There's gonna be obstacles, there's gonna be pain, but bend, don't break. Looks like we found it. Six. Yeah. All right, so I went a long way in changing my mood. Just seeing all the people. Got to feed a dog. I had some peanut butter left over in my sandwich. It's <laughs> great. I'll take one of them dogs. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'm back! I got to cut more trail for me. You're the best. Thank you. Slippery. End your day early. This has been a slog in this last bit. My legs are definitely starting to lock up, but we're having a good time. We are 36 and a half miles in. I don't know if it's a different crane, if it's because you know we didn't run this course last year. It's longer now, but I'm mainly thinking it's it's daytime and just following. So maybe I need an extended break. We'll see how I feel in a couple days. Oh. Anyway, hoping there's an aid station soon. I said eight, 
around 30, 31, so a mile and a half maybe. We'll see. Devil's Swamp. And another one of those. Well, last year didn't leave us entirely. Muddy slog. More muddy slog. It's okay. Maybe walk breaks are good for me. Woo. Flag. I think. Oh, please. Yeah. Really, really. Brave man holding the phone out. <laughs> it's not my real phone. Oh. Previous years, the most we did of these were two. I swear we'd done like. 12 of these and I this might be 90% of our elevation is these two steps two three steps oh. all right maybe I can string something together that was a straight mile mile and a half of mud and my legs are shot I'm gonna need like a stretch at the aid station to, to really work something together. This isn't not on the GPX, so I don't know how far it is to the aid station, but you know, it's like that. It's no biggie. Um, yeah, I can definitely use a leg stretch. This mud is turn this quickly into a hike and yeah, that's tough to get going yet. No joke, as soon as I turn off the camera, here's another one. Oh, but we can just go under the barbed wire. Uh, that was safe. Thanks, <laughs> I know, I know, I'm not clean, so I'm not yeah. gonna pet you too much. I don't think it's too dirty. Uh, 50, so besides going out that way, all right, leaving the aid station. I don't know what we're gonna be able to string together for this last 10, but uh, we are in familiar land because this is the end of the course last year. So we're out on Outback. We're gonna go look at the St. John's real quick, head back, take a shuttle, run a few more, and then we're home. So, I'll run as much as I can, which isn't much, but uh, that last uh, two mile stretch of mud just killed me. Anyway, so, uh, positive smiles. We've seen a lot of dogs today. It's a good day. This was the turf on point last year. Looks like we gotta go a little further. But this here is St. John's River. If you're not local to Florida, St. John is a, one of, I believe, two rivers. Flows south to north. Anyway, some runners headed back. Get it. Another mandatory water crossing. Fun. Alright. Get my feet wet real quick. Woo! Alright. So, it's 
Still stringing together some movement. <laughs> uh, all right. Turn around should be soon. The lone palm. I guess it makes sense. I'll never see another one of these. It'll be too soon. Oh. This course does not give you a step. You have to take it all. <laughs> More mud. We are at mile 44 and change. So, by another three miles to the shuttle. Woo. There's some life lessons in here. <laughs> Woo. All right. Some more mud, so let's keep hiking. It's faster with the water. The sections of that water that are a nightmare. Shuttle's just up ahead. Oh man, I'm glad to see it. We're gonna try to just run it out. It's gonna hurt regardless. Um, so. Why not just do a slow run the last three miles instead of doing walk breaks? We're gonna get there. Last year was just some rented van. Oh, ow. Oh. Anybody behind me? No, okay. Woo! gig for you. Back forth. <laughs> Try to get a try to get a warrant run going and running in. Blinky lights. I think it's easier to see in the dark. Final mile, baby. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. This is for you. Let's go.